All right, let's talk about the future of the group of forums. And as part of talking about the future, I think it's helpful to take a step back down memory lane and talk about the, the history and where the forums came from. The forums are just a year younger than the website itself. So they were started around early 2000 and the software at the time that was really the rage was a site called EasyBoard. You specified your name and then you had a forum that was just created out of the box for you with some level of customization that you had for creating the styling and look and feel that you were going for. And over the years, the forums moved from EasyBoard to their own vBulletin instance, a very popular PHP MySQL based forum software. And then ultimately where they are right now, which is on something called Discourse, which is really familiar to a lot of people because it is the same sort of ideas and technology behind what is also powering Stack Overflow. So it really is in the cutting edge of software in terms of what the forums are currently running on. So when the forums first came out, they were an instant hit. And the reason is that they it wasn't very common. It was a novelty at the time. There weren't really this idea of social networks or online communities where you could go and kind of interact with someone or a group of someone's around a lot of topics that you were interested in. In many ways, the group of forums were a destination. It's really the place that you started off your day, whether you're working or doing something creative. And it's also where you went to socialize. If you had to categorize where the, the forums really had their hit their mojo and were really popular in, there were, of course, the technical questions that's really what got people into the door what got people really excited about the forums and then there was the whole job searching and the job finding and the job posting aspect of things which is also very popular it was a great place to socialize the forums have over the years now have about 230,000 members who so it's a pretty large community at the time where you can do a lot of the things that you couldn't really have done in a one-on-one -on -one setting or in a very small localized setting like you might have been able to do in your design agency or school or development area. Design and creativity and tech news and discussions, it really was, again, as a destination where you could have a conversation that touched upon so many aspects of your personal life, your professional life, and social life. But the thing is, as time went on, all five of these categories started to have their own worlds created by other companies where they went really deep and broad in the kind of capabilities they provided. For technical questions, really started getting Stack Overflow, which started to kind of get the, become the center of gravity for those kind of conversations. And for the creative and design and inspiration, Dribble really came out of nowhere and, and took on a lot of the, the traffic that was partly on group of forums, but also on like DeviantArt and a variety of other online communities that are really around catering to artists and, and visual thinkers and designers. For job searches and for anything professional, LinkedIn is really the place you go to. For social, of course, can't really go without talking about Facebook. And Twitter became the place for talking about current events and news where you're more interested in not necessarily the people and the social aspect of things, but more the content and the commentary and the information that you really want to share. And so what really happened was, you know, the site center of gravity was, you know, divided loosely across five areas. But what we started having was as the industry started evolving and saw the value of social networks, each of those five categories just started really getting their own areas that became really popular, became really large companies of their own and are now considered some of the some of the biggest heavyweights in the industry. And so the website was not a leader in any one of those areas. What it did was it provided one location where you could kind of have the best of all five of these worlds in, in a loosely connected format. But of course, when you had the option though of would you rather be on LinkedIn to connect and professionally network with people around you? Or would you rather be on a forums where it wasn't dedicated for that? It was among many of the topics was job and professional networking. And so today the forums are still heavily trafficked. The amount of views it gets is quite large, mostly because there's a huge archive of almost 2 million posts from almost 20 years now that are always indexed by Google and happen to touch upon some topic that web developers may have been searching for. So it's still used in terms of as a, as a repository of knowledge. And it also primarily caters to the website itself. You know, people read the website, they read some content there, they have a question, they go to the forums and post it, or they're buying one of the many books that I have 
have written on various web development topics, the primary way of getting support for those content is the forums again. Job searches, not really a place that is really popular for. I actively discourage it. If I see a job posting, I tend to just message the poster and say, hey, LinkedIn is probably a better place for you because that's really where you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. Socializing, of course, it's still a big part of it. You know, the number of people who socialize there is, you know, I'd say it's more like, you know, a few dozen, you know, you can almost name them by name who some of the big people who socialize there are. I socialize there all the time and some of the regulars you see there socialize there quite a bit. But a lot of technical questions that people who ask those questions end up becoming part of the socializing bucket. But again, it's not Facebook, it's not a replacement for Facebook and nor is it trying to be a replacement for Facebook. Design, creativity, tech news and discussions, these still happen on the forums, but again, that's not the primary area. If anything, I try to take content that I posted on, let's say Twitter, that's really the tech news, or on Dribble. Well, I don't actually post much on Dribble, but when I do something creative somewhere, I try to post a screenshot of it and paste it here, because the goal really for me with the forums is not to be the, the destination anymore. It's not really to replace a network that you're already a big part of, because these networks have done a really great job variety of different reasons it could be algorithms it could be just human designing things really well to make you want to use those networks for accomplishing whatever task you're trying to accomplish you know i don't want to have the forums be a replacement for the the tight-knit community meta built on facebook or replacing the the cool items that you already created on dribble where all of your assets and content already are or your pinterest board and things like that but really the focus is on what is the unique value the forms provide and that is direct access to some of the smartest web developers who may have had a hand in creating a lot of the content you see on the website itself and that is really the the main area because with stack overflow your questions have to be very specific in a format and the answers have to be very specific in a format there's no room for deviation or you know i guess in many ways pondering whereas on the forums though i encourage the the creative you know wandering of your ideas and asking questions and i can even ask more questions and being more open about things you want to learn more about and so really the technical questions part is the one that i am most interested in and giving you a positive experience as a part of it because learning something new, it's hard. And sometimes you do need a little bit of extra hand-holding and a community to walk you through the ins and outs and the and help you avoid the pitfalls. And I think the forums do a, a great job. They did a great job back then, and I still do a great job right now. And we've focused on growing the volume of those activities. And if you do a great job there, that will naturally lead to more socializing and some of the other you know auxiliary content that we typically would see on the forums as well. And so I hope you enjoyed this kind of a view of where the forums came from, what they're doing right now, and where I kind of think they're going to be going in the future. If you have more questions about anything about the site behind the scenes in the history or why I do things the way I do, ping me at Krupa on Twitter and in the description I'll have a link to the forum post where I'm going to catalog all these videos, all the questions that you've been asking me across all these various areas and periodically post updates when new videos like this get posted. All right, I will see you all next time.